Somebody's excited. All right, can you guess what we're doing today? I've got rust on my shovel. I was looking on Google Maps this morning. As you guys can see, the snow is mostly gone. The ground is still pretty frozen, but I'm going to go meet Stan and we're going to walk in the 1800s road. We're going to go off of there into the swamp. I was looking and I found a square spot. I'll show you guys. I don't know if it's a foundation or if it's just a rock sticking out of the woods. The Google images that we get up here, the satellite images are pretty low quality, but we're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna bring the detector just in case, swing it in any of the clearings we come across and see if we get any man-made iron signals. Let's go for the first trek. Season eight, trekking with Stan. All right, so I'm here at the trailhead. I'm testing out, I've got the wireless goes all charged up. One for me and one for Stan. So we'll mic him up when he gets here. He's probably not gonna like that, but eh. We'll hear all his crazy ravings, his mumblings as he's walking through the forest. You guys always complain that you can't hear him. So yes, those of you that watch the channel regularly will know Stan and I were not detecting together last year. So John wants to do some detecting on his property. Him and Stan have been hanging out a lot. He says, we need to bury the hatchet. So I went over, I talked to Stan and said, look, you're not getting any younger. I'm not getting any prettier. Let's just, uh, you know, go out and detect because I'm always looking for anybody who wants to go on an adventure. Okay, keep it positive. Um, you know, do our best to get along for the sake of adventure. And we've agreed to do so. So today, season eight, Trekking with Stan, episode one. He's got a plan. Well, these ones are the better ones from Walmart. I have the cheap Walmart ones, but they don't have insoles. But these more expensive ones have insoles. So no, I meant you got a plan with the hot pockets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Old feet. They're already numb, buddy, so I got to take care of them because I can't tell when they're freezing. Yeah, there we go. My aunt lives in one of those uh, geared to income places and they painted the stairs and she fell down the stairs last year and her neighbor on the left of her fell down three months before and then last night the one on the right side fell down and is in a cast and tore all the ligaments in her ankle and whatever and uh, so I actually called the fall and slip lawyer this morning and gave him her information and I said expect a call I think they have a case and uh, my aunt doesn't want to rock the boat but I said you know what uh, there's three of you that we know of that all had severe injuries. She broke, my aunt broke three ribs. And uh, she was out of commission there for a couple months. So. You know, anybody with uh, a brain knows that stairs are slippery when you paint them unless you put sand in the paint. Well, they, sh they shouldn't be painted. It's all mostly older folks that live there because it's a geared income place. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's just ridiculous that they did that. I don't know whether they'd say it's their responsibility or whether it's, is it rental? Mm, it's, I don't know, but they, they're not allowed to do anything to the apartments. Everything is maintained by the company, right? Okay, so, so. yeah, no, no, they're, they got to assure safety. And they're not it. even allowed to paint the walls if something happens. Like her grandson also fell down the stairs, but I mean, people would say, oh, he's a kid and he's rambunctious. But she said, no, he slipped and he put his knee through the wall. She's not allowed to fix the drywall and paint it. They have to come and do that. No, she's, yeah. Yeah, no, they're liable. Sounds like a good case. Yeah, I mean, there's three of them that we know of. There could be more, who knows? No, yeah, yeah. No painted stairs are, are slippery. So we're just walking along here. I don't know my, my Bible passages. Me either. But there's a, a cross hanging in the tree here and some flowers and it says, Jesus meets his mother. Luke 8, 28, 3, 5. Very no, nice. actually, that's fine, Stan. You can say that online. He said, say it again. I think religious people are nuts. Yes, he said all religions are crazy. And I would agree to an extent with that, that, um, I mean, it's good to have faith, but the people that need that to tell them to be a good person, yeah, that's where the issue and arises. You don't oh. need giant, rich Look at buildings, gauge. elegance, gold-plated statues. Well, yes. Uh, uh, all of the peripheral 
uh, attachments. My oh. grandfather grew up on a farm in Massey, Ontario when they were kids, dirt poor, 14 kids. And he, as he got older, he was not religious because he said that the Catholic church would come and they would take like their last hog or their, you know, any chickens that were laying, they would take half of them and they didn't have enough to feed their own kids. And so my grandfather who was raised Catholic ended up turning against religion basically because he saw exactly what Stan's talking about, the opulence, the pass the hat, give us everything you have kind of mentality. And that's just corrupt church officials. I mean, they can, you know, officials can be corrupt whether it's religious or not, obviously, but. Yes, and I grew up, when I started as a child, my parents tried to make me religious. Yes, we went to church. I remember the plate going down the aisle. I remember the metal plate from when I was a kid too. <laughs> I don't know, do they still do? I think it's an envelope now. I isn't don't it? know, man, but like, really? Yeah. There's another one. There's lots of them, I'll bet. Jesus is stripped of his garments. So there's a couple of things that we want to check down at the end of this trail. This road was what, 1880 something? Oh yeah. The original yeah. road. Yeah. And we know, guys, I found one of those trade tomahawks down here. We know that the voyageurs were using that shoreline of Nipissing. Absolutely. Uh, almost 400 years ago, the Lavaz River is down by my place. There was a fort. La Ronde, is that the fort? Fort La Ronde, it was supposed to be called. Now they argue whether it was actually there or not. We've detected it multiple times. We agree that it probably wasn't there from what we found, but. Well, actually, Gary, I, I don't agree. I think it was there just for a very brief period of time. Then according to the stories, it moved over to the mouth of the sturgeon. Yes, I was gonna say there were stories that the fort was down there. So I don't know if it was ever here. It was briefly because well, maybe it's another Voyager thing, but my friend found that token that you spin that does the 3D oh, imagery. Oh, okay, wait, do you still have that? No, he has it, and I tried to buy it from him. I want to <laughs> I want to get that on film. So what is it? You, you spin this thing, and it looks like... a picture of a Voyager on one side. Yes. With a pig. And then there's a picture of the Voyager on the other side, also with a pig. But when you put the coin on the table and you spin it, it looks like he's humping the pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Serious, seriously. We, we need to put that on and the channel. And that's Voyager humor. That was the kind of humor they had. They were dirty-minded old guys stuck in the bush, man. Okay. This, this little token that they would put on the table and spin while drunk. I, could, oh, I, can't, oh, even, I can't even imagine the value of something like that. That is such a I rare piece. I 300 bucks, he wouldn't take it. <laughs> well, maybe you can get it, just borrow it Marc, for a day. Marc de Blois. Maybe you can just borrow it for a day and we can... Uh, spin it for the channel. <laughs> and that was before I had a detector. So I, I, you know, I was like, wow, man. And he just got it by kicking over the moss at low water but on the island. Ha. Huh. It was in the moss on the Because we've detected that three or four times. Oh, okay. I was just going to say there's another cross over here. It's the uh, holy trail of Trinity crosses here. <laughs> Spreading Jesus the is nailed to the cross. Is this? Oh, maybe this is some kind of, you know what this is, Stan? This is an Easter weekend hunt of some kind. Ah, Easter I bet weekend. you, I bet you that's what it is. So you can see it's still quite frozen here in the low parts of the swamp. But uh, we're hoping there's two spots we saw on Google, Google Earth. Earth that we're gonna check today. The square that I was telling you guys about, and then there was a little clearing with something white showing up in the satellite image. And I noticed it, and then when I was talking to Stan, he pulled it up, and he noticed the same thing and said to me, hey, did you see this clearing? And I said, yes, I did. So we're going to try to find both of those here. Dan was just pointing out there's two more structures here. Here's the trail. You think that's homeless people, Stan? Oh, well, let's take a look. Here's the trail. Yeah, let's take a look. Come on, Gage. It's either some kind of survival course. Or just kids. <laughs> or kids. I, I don't think it'd be homeless people here because they're not close to anything. Yeah, not close enough to a store. I, I don't mind kids messing around. We used to do the same thing 40 years ago. No, no, it's just a little hidey. So and, and there's no, you know, telltale sign. There's no garbage here. Which is, when it's the homeless guys, they yeah, just garbage, garbage everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, Needles that's right. and, that's right. and the ground here is actually very clean. So I, I do think this is probably just kids playing. 
Stan says we're at the mercy of a liberal society now. The Toronto police, which Toronto is 400 kilometers south of here, made a statement for folks. They're, they're having a lot of break-ins down there. To steal cars. And they're stealing people's cars. They said, well, just leave your keys at the, at the front door. So basically they can break in, steal your car, and there won't be a confrontation. What kind of statement is that? I don't know. Like, I'm it's sorry. A license I'm... to steal for those who want to. And that's why the rates have skyrocketed. No punishment. Yeah, I just don't understand the, you know, if I spend 50, 60 grand on a vehicle, I'm not giving it to you. And uh, what do you guys think about that? Most of you guys are American. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> well, they, they, they think we're crazy up here. And I do too. <laughs> well, I, I mean, most Canadians aren't following that stupid advice, but. And then I want to go out because of that uh, dinosaur crap I have. Yeah. I want to go out to Nip near La Ronde, where remember we went down the bank? Yeah. That's an eroding bank. Yeah. There's going to be stuff coming out of there, buddy, from, from fossils to old shit. What I mean, was that thing called again? Uh, copper light. Copper light. It's dinosaur poop dinosaur fossilized. Poop. And I got a large one, which is rare. Yeah. So. Yeah, we can go look for more. I'm always up for any adventure. That's, uh, that was something I was thinking the other day. I got to get out there and look at that cliff face because I can walk on the ice right now because it's, it's in the shore. All right, I had to lose the downfilled vest. It's just, I know it's everything's still icy out here, but when you're hiking along, it doesn't take much to overheat. Yeah. Oh yeah, down here in the detector anytime. This is soft. The well, water, I'll do it water, again, but I have done it before. See the water, this is diggable because the water keeps it soft. Yeah. I mean, there's rock in there. It's past this point over here. Garbage. Come down here. Stan. This uh, is an old trail right through there. Uh, it's either right in, I think it's right in there, right in the thick part. But you got to remember in the old days, the beaches were the roads from Calendar to North Bay before they built any roads. For sure. Because they, they didn't have the dams to keep the water level up this high, so the beach was like 200 yards out there. Okay, so we're at the first foundation. This was 1880 something. I pulled bricks out of here before. Did you did you do the beach when you detected here? Yeah, we did a little bit of everything. Okay. But I mean, this is what I'm saying. We there's so much more to be done. We've got about eight hours in here. That's it. Oh no, you can do lots more here. This, this foundation, this as you guys can here, see, yeah. goes it's over probably the rocks. 25 feet back there and maybe 18 feet across. Stones are buried. This was the field in here. Last time I was in here, I left an axe head for Stan. That's the biggest flat area in there. And those trees grow fast. He's way over there and you guys can still hear him. I can't even hear what he's saying. But there's an axe head somewhere right in here that I buried for him. And uh, well, see, I, sh I should have watched the video in preparation. I believe it was somewhere right in here. That is definitely a cellar hole right there, right? Oh, it's it's an actual foundation. It's 25 yeah. by 20. Yeah. Or close to it. There's got to be shit here. Oh. Here it is. I found it. <laughs> Look at this. It's your Christmas gift right here, Stan. He found the axe. It's on the ground though and he still found it. Yeah, an old axe. Yeah. That's all you gotta say, dude? I saved it for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to carry that out this there. Guy They're heavy. The guy see things up on the rocks there. This guy, the trail comes in over there. Where's the bottle dump? They're on to us. FBI chopper.
They're looking for Stan. Just gonna turn the detector on here and see if we can get any signals. Right where I found that axe head before. Okay, we'll put it on field, all metal. Something right there, iron. Iron all over the place in here. That might be another axe head. All right. Let me see if I, I can dig that out of there. Here, a barrel hoop with not many times. I, I don't know if it's an axe head here. I'm trying to get something. So many roots. Yeah, but no, there's all kinds of shit right behind that. That 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 has got to be an old, maybe colonial thing, yeah. Could be. I've uh, I've suspected. You said you got a, a, an old axe here, like the old kind. Yeah, the old that's no, tomahawk is, trade axe. This is colonial, bud. I know. I found musket balls here too. Oh. Oh, dude, look at this. That's, the that's end a, of a trade small axe. trade axe. That's the end of a trade axe. Yes, it is trade axe yeah. right there, dude. Right there. Oh, oh, gauge. Guys, that's and 300. Copper, and copper kettle. <laughs> that's trade, but that's colonial, dude. That's 300 plus years old right there. That's another one of those little trade yeah, tomahawks. Yeah, yeah. I told him he, this was the site that caused our our, uh, our separation last year. He didn't want to come back here. I told him there's good I stuff. I didn't want to here. come on that trail. You're old. No, there's too many dogs for sale. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you sound like an old person right now. <laughs> I just got the phone out to show you guys. This this is more interesting. Like copper is old stuff. Old copper kettles, trade, trades, trades. Boy, and then boy. I wanted to give you guys a, a nice close up of this axe. This is totally 100% trade axe. You can see how it's crumbling away to nothing, because this one wasn't under the swamp like some of the other ones we find, which are pristine. It's this one's just pretty good. But it's pretty good, but it is it's crumbling. I don't think I could get a maker's mark off that. But absolutely 100% trade axe. Proof of concept, Stan is over here. He's found another little building that I already knew was there. It's just got a stone foundation. But uh, so we've got 1880s farm here and we've also got Voyager stuff, which we knew before. So now we're gonna trek off into the woods and see if we can find those two places that we saw on Google Maps, which were oh, yeah. very interesting looking. Uh, yeah, and it was a little, oh yeah, Gary, huh, what? I know, yeah. it's a stone foundation. <laughs> I took bricks from the point. There was bricks at the original point. Yes, they were GOM, I think. That's yeah. uh, Powassan uh, Brick Building Company. Yeah. The Coxes owned that. My friend Doug was telling me that was his great-great-grandfather's or something like that, I think. Dump. <laughs> <laughs> so another uh, dump find, Stan says. <laughs> nice. What were you saying about the... Those uh, copper arrowheads you have, if you read the archaeology books, you'll see that they... I found copper down in Pembroke. They found copper on the Great Lakes, but because of the glaciers or whatever, allegedly, there were no known examples of early woodland, I believe it was called the period. And copper arrowheads were associated with early woodland. No known sites up here. Because you found those arrowheads, you have a known site. That's cool, yeah. Okay. They could be anywhere from five to 10,000 years 5, old. 5,000. 5,000. Copper stopped 5,000. It was from 10,000 to 5,000. And then they stopped because they ran out of copper at the Great Lakes. So they reverted to bone and stone. So they could be anywhere from five to 10,000. Five though. to 10,000. Yeah, okay. Pro and in Northern Ontario, that's not supposed to be here. Yeah, I know. So you have proof. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is colonial right here, guys. If you look at the stone foundation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, where are you going? I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> so we discuss stuff like this on the channel all the time. 
And I thought it was so cool, I even made a second video about it, and I think we got 300 views. Yeah. This is like a, a first, you know, to find something like that up here. Nobody cares. We are finding stuff on this channel, or have found stuff on adventures in the past. Yeah. Nobody else is finding. Like that 300 year old axe head that I just showed you guys from 10 minutes ago, that's rare. Guys are not finding stuff like that. We live in the perfect spot to be doing this. We do. This, the square was here. This encompassed, this is a big building. Could have been a trade building. Could have been. Maybe Fort Laurent. <laughs> Long lost Fort Laurent. My chinny chin chin. Ugh, oh, it's so thick in here. We just need to see some high ground off in the distance. <laughs> Can't even see here. Stan. He's only 35 yards away from me. He just disappeared. Oh, that's funny. Stan finds a rubber ball which floated in here on high tide. He throws it at me. He says, how did that get here? I said, high tide, Stan. He says, oh, I want it for the dog. I threw it back at him and Gage lunged in there and got it. So now he's got he's to chase Gage to get this ball. Come here, Gage. No, he put it down. No, he's got it in his mouth. Oh, does he? Sit, buddy. Sit. Come here. No, come here. Now you're going to pull a Sammy? You're not going to let me have he's that He's not going right? to give it to you. That's for sure, eh, buddy? Got to earn it, Stan. If I had a bone, he'd substitute. <laughs> Gagey. I think here, Gage, Gage deserves it more. Oh, Gagey baby dog. Oh, Gagey baby dog, yes. Stan's oh, going to trick him. <laughs> uh, her boots on, but yeah, okay. Let's... Stan is adamant that we have to get over there to those pines, which are still 500, 600 meters no, away from us. Oh, they're not fine. That's, that's two football fields. Well, it's going to feel like 600 when you're slogging through all that thick brush. Ah, it ain't that bad. And the ground's hard. Practically there already. All right, guys, Stan is off uh, looking for pine trees, which would be a higher area than we're in now because we think that's what we saw. But they're quite a ways over there. So I don't know. I'm not seeing what we saw on Google Maps. But uh, I wanted to say thanks for joining us. I got to put some of this gear away. It's so thick in here. Make my life a little easier for walking. But this was a successful outing because we found Voyager stuff and we're going to come back. So thanks for joining us. We'll catch you in the next adventure. All right, we got separated in there. So I'm just waiting for Stan to come out. He kept going and he said he was going to loop back down and come out on the shore here. So I'm just waiting. And it's been 20 minutes. There he is.